are your hosts, Roxanne Gallo and Zachary Hines. Roxanne, it's yes. July. Mm -hmm. It is July. And we're still looking fresh as chickens. Make Corn really does wonders for the skin. <laughs> Keep you feeling young and fresh as we feed you all of this life-giving music and talent. Bottoms up. <sighs> now a warning. Now a warning? That's really the secret. All of Tampa's talent is just fueling our souls and giving us endless youth. So sit back, relax, let us know in the comments what artists you wanna see, and maybe we might just make it happen. All right, Roxanne, are you ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Hey. Now 12 years old and it was I think it was to like a Destiny's Child song so what I would usually do is I would take like Destiny's Child songs and just rewrite the words and that's how uh, <laughs> I was like 11 12 years old and like I would have like my own album and just the, <laughs> the list of songs off yeah girl listen the whole shebang I'm like your newest biggest fan I'm obs I went oh. through like your videos are so good, first of all. Thank you. Oh my God. Number one, I'm obsessed. <laughs> of the, I, I literally was shaking my booty while I was getting ready. So um, I actually recorded a song in 2016. Crazy, right? Um, and it was with my producer, his name's 2SC. Um, he actually put out a project um, in 2016 and he, gave me the beat he was like janelle listen to this and he thought i was wasn't gonna like it at first he was like you don't like the track and so like when i was listening to it at that point i was transitioning into my caribbean type vibe because i'm from trinidad and like um we have a genre called soca mm -hmm. so and like i was like okay i wanted to create something all right cool let's go and it started off as a um, contemporary gospel song um because um what the song is basically about is about me through my past situations that i've been through and just being on the fence of of you know you know because everybody they represent you know have you know praise a certain higher power but me personally i i i praise god so um it was basically just my dedication to him telling him that he's number one in my life but as the years went on I, um, I wanted to create this whole movement of just empowering individuals and, and people, and especially women, because it's a lot that I've been noticing nowadays with just women just, um, you know, having low self-esteem and not feeling confident in themselves. And I just wanted to embrace that um, moment just to let you know that um, the number one tells you that you are number one. You're number one, whatever you do, whatever shape, whatever size, whatever color. I just wanted to embrace all types of women just so we can, you all, so the world could see that, you know, we're all beautiful. Doesn't matter how we look, doesn't matter what texture hair you have. You're beautiful, whatever, whatever, because us women, we go through so many changes and so many insecurities and it's just like, because I say that because I've been through that, you know, and, and this is my testimony as well. Like, I've been to that point where I wanted to commit suicide because I didn't like me. I didn't like who I was. I didn't like who myself. So um, I wanted to create and have that platform through music to inspire those women and, and just people in general. So that is where the concept came from. And I know I wanted to keep the island vibe. So it's so funny, y'all. We recorded that... Um, video in october wait october september ish or so when the hurricane was coming around i forgot what hurricane that was irma was it irma? irma that was scary <laughs> so scary oh my god so much has happened just this year that i totally forgot about irma 
Speaking of wanting to empower women, um, can you tell me a little bit about She Got Vision? So yeah, so She Got Vision is my organization um, that I established in like 2017. Um, basically, my the reason why I established that is because when I was a teenager, I really didn't have a mentor. So I took it upon myself to create an organization um, where it stems solely on our um, teen girls ages 13 through 19 so they can and so they can um, be empowered and to gain that hope that they they need in order for them to be successful in whatever area that they choose so that's what she got visions about Our side was real fine until I went to my side. Then, then I realized I needed you more than I thought. I replaced you, misusing, mentally abused, cause I was in your head. But instead, I went my way. So, uh -huh, uh -huh. take over. Won't leave you no more. Come closer. You are my new way. Take over. Won't leave Sweet, sweet feeling is what they want. Hey. I think it's just. Uh, we can do one of these. The sign. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yes. You know what it reminds me of? Those booths at the mall where you would get like your sketch done, you'd get the picture, yeah. like all the different styles. <laughs> <laughs> That is totally what it looks like. I love it. Oh my gosh. I just heard, I heard of him through mutual people just talking about him all the time. Yeah. Uh, we both played a gig for one of our buddies and our buddy introduced me to her and said, I have to go see the gig. I went and then I stalked her for about 10 years and now we live together. Didn't you guys just release a new album? That's what the song is from that we're playing. 
we did. We did. Uh, we recorded it from uh, the period just before quarantine started and all of that stuff. And into like maybe two and a half months, uh, beginning two and a half months of quarantine. And there seemed to be a common thread of anxiety and fear <laughs> of the plague uh, in it. So we're like, wait a second. Uh, we should just mix these a little better and make them louder and put out a, a half record. It's called Recordings from the Bakery, Volume 1. Are you working on Volume 2 now? Yeah. Indeed. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. We got nothing else going up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I think that some of the tunes that we released on this thing are super weird because we are weird right now. Exactly. And I feel like releasing these songs and making these songs with Matt has given me an opportunity to like let go of some of the control over how perfect everything should sound and that everything should have a common thread. Matt somehow was able to find a common thread by using genius mixing techniques and uh, little transitions between songs to make it sound like, you know, three songs or a, one story, you know, and doing that was able to find a common thread. Man, go to Bandcamp and you can just listen to the record if you want, or you can pay a few bucks if you want. It, either way, we just want people to hear the stuff. And that's volume one, which means volume two is coming. Soon. And I hope life is back to normal by then. And yes. Back to having music. Well, I hope it's not normal. I hope it's just better. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Let, let's go better. for better. Yeah, normal without the racism. You know? the racism. <laughs> Something like that, you know? Sleeping in shady groves Singing with forest noses Where bad dreams come true
table He used my dress to keep it stable everybody